90 M5 competition. It's like a frozen color. That's crazy. M2 comp. So nice. FADM3 CS. That's clean. I'll take this one. Ooh, the new 8 series. Look at this M4. Damn. That's clean. They got 335 right here. It's got some wheels on it. These are pretty nice. E92, 335. It's got the IS diffuser. Yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Where's, uh, where's Two Face? He's coming. He's, he's late? What's so up, bro? Now, he actually stopped by to what get up? some uh, brushes for me. Look at this. What are you doing? Dang. So Mario got new wheels, guys, again. Damn. Looking flousy. Oh, 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 shit. My bad. Oh, man. <laughs> My bad. Let me get that oh, for you. Shit. Thank you. <laughs> so, we're here at Masterminds. We got Ares, me, Two Face. Damn. Mario got different color wheel, sand blasted. It looked real. Ooh, still got some red in there, but I don't think they're done yet. What's up? <laughs> Damn. Big Body 7. What's up? What's up? Just saw you. We just had lunch. What's up? What's up, man? Where are you? Good, you? 7 Series got, what are these, Iconics? Yeah, they're Iconics. Nice. Bav Group products? Bav Group it is. So I just sealing it back up and release it to the customer? Yep. That's it? Well, actually, it's already done. We just had to go ahead and replace the ballast and, uh -huh. uh, and uh, what you call it? Nice. Are these new lens? Are these are these new lens covers? New lens covers? No. Damn, look pretty good. Oh my gosh, life with KG. What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing great. Um, you know, just we staying positive, positive vibes, positive energy, all of that good stuff. No bad things on this channel. It's always good things, fun things, happy times, whatever you want to call it. So when you guys are make sure when you guys are watching my videos, you guys are feeling, you know, you guys are smiling, whatever. You know what I mean? So. Anyway, as you can see in today's video, we're gonna go through all of my camera stuff. Everything I used to photo shoot with, editing, lenses, and I guess prices of the lenses and whatever, so you guys can, you know, check out what I use, and if you guys wanna use the same thing, then you guys can use it, because I, I got the same thing from uh, my friend Finding Nick, so shout out to Nick, because when I seen his photos, I was like, yo, give me the same exact setup that you have, because I'm trying to cop the same thing. And ever since then, I mean like, the camera and all of like it's insane like i never even thought i'd go this far into purchasing all this camera stuff i'm not a photographer guys i i don't want to be a photographer like all the photos that i take on my instagram kg photos it's all just for fun like i don't you know i don't i don't want to be a photographer like i said i don't want none of that i just it's just a hobby of mine i take photos of the most randomest things like it's either cars friends or whatever comes to my mind like i take pictures of my freaking light post outside my house like I don't care. I go. I went to Hollywood the other day. I took pictures of my friend in Hollywood. Random stuff. Like it's just for fun, and I want to share with you guys so you guys can see. Um, I guess you know, like other than just cars and people or whatever, because I mostly shoot my car. I shoot other people's cars. Um, it's it's just all for fun. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you guys and oh yeah. yeah so anyway, whoa whoa whoa. I'm be playing some. Uh, whew, can't talk. Some playbacks that I have, some vlog content for you guys. It's pretty funny. It's from Masterminds. You know, when we always have Masterminds, it's always fun times with those guys. So, you guys make sure you guys watch it. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and enjoy the clips, guys. And I'll see you guys after. Oh, Mario. Yo. You got two white beauties. I, I didn't want to show them yet. These but, are gems, man. Okay, if you could honestly, actually, it's going to be a dumb question, but I would take both, you know? Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it, it's just so complicated because you got you got two of the like I think one of the best generations, bro. Like exactly. right here in your lot, and, um, and they're one of them is an individual, and yes, two of them. 
both of them have really really low miles yes that's fucking oh and i mean i think the color itself really just it just makes it work yeah it makes it work all right guys so, so i'm gonna show you guys this is what year is this one this is i have no idea it's a 2000 for sure it's 2007 but guys look at this e46 m3 i ran into this guy actually a few weeks ago on the on the uh, 134 if you guys live in the valley how many 2004. oh 2004 e46 m3 coupe guys i think my favorite part bro is the carbon roof that's insane bro it's amazing carbon roof i was telling you guys on the other vlog you guys will see it that the attention to detail in this car is just amazing original csl trunk original perfect fitment Wow, Again, no offense, bro. Narvin. <laughs> Narvin, bro, take notes. <laughs> Seriously. Damn, that is, is clean. Look at the interior. Apex. The interior. Are these 4 S's? Yep. These are actually oh. original BMW uh, CSLs. Oh, are they? Yep. Damn, dude, this is mint. Custom made center caps oh because they used to not make center caps when they got these wheels. Wow. SMG? Or no, oh, swapped it, swapped it to swapped a manual? It to a manual. So this thing was SMG and he went to manual. Yep. The original interior oh, was wow. actually great. Wow, and he swapped it to black. And it fits so nice. Wow, dude, it's mint. Just amazing. That is 50, clean. 50,000 miles. 50, miles, wow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, wow. the to detail in this That's car is clean. Just amazing. It's just, it's just overwhelming. Wow. And then the second gem. Okay, so this is the E40. Bro, you, I feel like... Imagine just having one of these in your garage and like knowing it's yours and like... It's, it's just to sit there and like so clean. Damn. Second one is a frozen white E92 M3. What did you guys do to it? We're doing the stealth clear bra on it. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, this thing only has 8,000 miles. Eight th Bro, 8,000 8, miles, miles, dude, and I'm, oh my gosh, that's insane. 8,000 miles, and uh, customer wants to protect the paint. Obviously, you right. guys know if right. you have a frozen or any individual yeah. color, it's not cheap to repaint these right. cars. Especially the matte colors, right? Yeah. because This is even harder than to match a regular color. It's not like you could go ahead and repaint and wet sand and buff yeah. and paint perfection. Yeah. Once this is out of the booth, that's it. That's how it comes out. You can't wet sand or buff these cars. It's crazy. So very meticulous, huh? Exactly. So he's, do he's doing, he's being smart and he's clear brawing the car. Stealth, yeah. right? Stealth. Stealth. This is by Expel? Yes. Nice. Now, looks I'm not really sure clean. If you notice it. Wow, frozen white. This is already clear, bro. Is it? Wow. You can't even tell. Exactly. This is clear, bro. That's the crazy part. You can't even tell. Wow. We haven't done the bumper. We're going to do the bumper right now, but uh -huh. everything else is already done. Wow. So you guys did the two fenders. The, the whole entire hood? hood? Yep, the whole entire hood. And now you guys are just the bumper and the that's bumper. it? That's it. Nice. So how roughly how long would this take you to this takes process? Us, this takes us, the gentleman actually brought the car around 9 in the morning. Um, and today's which, Friday, so Friday 9 a.m. Around probably 5 or 6 we should be done. Uh -huh. um, but it is right now. I don't even know what, I think it's like. Uh, it's like 4. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what day it is, imagine. Wow, that's all bad. Yeah, it's 413. So, so around 413, about another hour, however as long as way right now you stepped out, but we're gonna go ahead and start the front end and uh take a few things off. Oh Original BMW. Splitters? Yep. Nice. Look at the on this. Yeah, it's perfect. New oh my gosh, lens covers. Nice. Carbon grills? Carbon nice. grills. Nice. Carbon grills. He nice. installed those himself. Oh, did he? Yeah. Nice. Check out the interior though. Okay, so this is a 2013 frozen white edition. Oh. We got the white stitching. Yep. Damn. Look at the boot. Wow. We put a plastic so we didn't damage it. Wow. Carpet. So when you come to Mass Rise, everything's top quality, huh? We you gotta make sure that <laughs> everything is being taken care of. That's clean. Wow. Frozen white comes with the white stitching. Do all the I wonder if all the frozen editions that come with that? Isaacs did come with the frozen stitching. white stitching, yeah. I wonder like Jason sure. the frozen red if it come with frozen red stitching. I mean not frozen red. No. Red stitching. I don't think so. I Damn. think it's black. That is so clean. It smells like brand, like new. brand new. It smells like brand new. Oh, wait. Nice. Wait. Carbon fiber roof as well. Competition package. Oh, let's see. Wow. Let me see if I can focus that. 8,000 miles, guys. That's brand new. Brand new. 
Level, level. I wonder how it feels knowing that you're that you're 2013 has 8,000 miles. <laughs> I think it's a little. Uh, it was, I think it's a little like crazy because you're like. Boom, right? You don't want to drive it. You want to just stay at 8,000 miles. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really. So you guys and you guys also installed the spoiler. We already did. Yeah. Nice. We did the OEM one. We so the OEM one is that little white one, right? The frozen, actually, yeah. a little mini frozen little white mini one. one. Yeah. It's cool, but I mean. A lot of people tend to go with the upgraded. Yeah, yeah. This really phone. stands out more. Yeah. He went actually through mod bargains, I believe. Uh huh. And um, oh, to pick up the spoiler. Yeah. Nice. To be honest with you, the fitment is. Looks really good. Really good. It's it's on there. I like right? it. Yeah. Nah, I'm just but <laughs> Can we sit on it? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> That's really cool. I like it's, it. It's pretty cool. My question to you, because I figure you know a little bit more. Even though it's. Yes, they come with gloss black tips. Really. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. They do. All the Frozen's come with um, gloss black tips. Huh. Or is it like a dark chrome? Or it, no, it's black, no, right? No, yeah. it's actually... Or like a... Because the, actually the side markers are dark chrome. Black chrome. The si Oh, okay. Yeah, the little side vents. I want, yeah. Did Isaacs come like that or no? Yeah, I don't know. Wait, you, oh, you guys changed them though. Oh, no, they come like this? Oh, they come like that. Wow. No, it's not Dang. It's chrome. It's... Is it, is it, is it, wait, but remember you had your E90, you had that, the night pack, remember it came yeah, with, yeah, but it didn't, it, that was it wasn't black. as, oh, this one hmm. is like chrome, but it's like dark. Oh, I like these carbon fiber mirror caps though. What? Are these OEM from BMW? Yeah. Bro, let's spot these. Dang. So he's getting, what are these again? My bad, DTM? DTM. From yeah. Bab Group? From Bab Group. And you're going to put these on here. On there. Damn, it's going to look nice. It's going to look really cool. Yeah. Bro. I think my, my favorite style headlights were the ones that you did on the black E92 with the LED eyebrow. Those were DTM, right? Yeah. Those, those were nice. Those, are like those are, Yeah, so that's these? Yeah. Nice. Only at this one. Is it possible too. to add an eyelid too? Uh, yeah, they, LED? Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice too. A lot of people don't do it, but yeah, it's possible. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's going to look so nice. It's going to look fresh. And he already uh, upgraded the projectors. Damn, it's going to be nice. It's going to be cool. Pretty dope. Pretty are you dope. blacking any of this out or no? Uh, no. no, 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 we're leaving everything like that. We're just uh, to make it like that clean OEM exactly. look still, but nice. What up, Big Nate? What's up, E92 Shua? What's up, guys? If you guys want to say what's up to the vlog, oh, I can't even say. Hold up, <laughs> I'm trying to show them. Oh, yeah, if you guys want to say what's up. Yes, the vlog life. We got an E46 M3 and an E92. Oh my gosh, you guys are on the vlog. Look, hold on. Let's say what's up. Cause you guys are on the vlog. <laughs> uh, there's so, let's see, bolt stock, E92 M3. Yeah, guys, which one would you guys take? The e E92 or the E46? E9X and FAX. Oh, someone said an E9X and an F80 me up to Angel's Crest. Damn. That would be sick. No, what up, vlog again? No. Think about it, bro. Less than Kevin's. For real. Bro, 50,000 miles. That's low. That's 2004 low. E46. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the vacuum. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what do you think so, about it? Today's the day of the low mileage cars, huh? Uh, well, Kevin came, so it doesn't count. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. He's talking to his girl. Uh, awkward. And I said no. <laughs> Don't yell. <laughs> what about tomorrow? Are we going to sushi tomorrow? You already know. Good. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Filet fish? Mm -hmm. Why don't you get a, a Big Mac? Another bite. No, you. Two? Wow. Pinche oh. gordo. No way. Nah, you're lying. You're gonna split it with him. You know, Mario has the other one right here. Oh. Two Big Macs? Bro. Babe, that's not true. That is crazy. Mm. Babe, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> For you. And for Mario, mm -hmm. please don't tell me you got fried. Oh, no. oh, thank God I was gonna oh, say. No All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that clip that um, I posted. So now let's get into 
the cameras. Um, I'm gonna go through each and one of them with you guys, and I'll just tell you guys like the prices and all that. So if you guys wanna get them and then tell you where I bought them, you guys can check them out. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all of my setups. Um, so let's get into it. All right, guys. So the first one um, is the OG camera, which is this one right here. This is a Canon 70D with a 10 to 22 millimeter lens. This is a really good lens for vlogging. Let me see if I can get like a close up of it. This is the lens right here. It's a wide angle lens, so it captures everything. Like this is honestly one of the best lenses. Um, Cause like when I got into like video, uh, vlogging and all that, I was trying to find out what was like the best lens. And a lot of people went with this one. So 10 to 22 millimeter. Um, it cost me I think like 700 bucks, but then like with like the two or three year warranty, um, I think everything was like 800 bucks. I got this at Best Buy. So 10 to 22 millimeter lens. This is a really good camera too. Um, this used to be like before I bought like my Sony. Um, this was like my main lens for photos. And I used, for a long time, I used um, the kit lenses that it came with, which was this 55 to 250, mil, uh, 250 millimeter and this 18 to 55 millimeter. And then I also bought a 70 to 200 um, F4, which is currently being lent out right now. And then I also bought this one, uh, 70 to 200, uh, I think it was a 2.8? Yeah, 2.8. This one I got it for 900 used, um, and then the F4, which is like this, but the baby version, I got it for 450. Um, so yeah, it's uh, the, it's a really good lens. This is more like portrait style. So if you're like if you're really into like portraits, this lens is really good. Um, so is the uh, so is the other the baby version of this. It's a really good lens for portrait. Um, and then these kid lenses, I don't I don't really use them anymore. Um, the camera, I got it at Costco. It came with the camera and then these two kit lenses. It came with like a, a case, the battery, a memory card. I think everything for like 1200 bucks, I think it was, or like 1300 bucks. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then this tripod here, it's a Joby 5K Gorillapod. This one was, um, damn it, I don't remember the price. I think it was like, 100 or 200 I think it was I don't remember it was it's like one of the top of the line ones from Joby the 5k because there's like um, I think there's the 2k I think or 5k or no 3k I think I don't know this is the 5k this is like the best one from them so I got that and then the little like the microphone it's a Rode mic uh, pro plus which is like the top one from Rode mic this one was 300 bucks I think it was yeah this I don't know if you can see it. and then I bought the little like dead cat for it this like this is a really good vlogging like setup right here so if you're into vlogging and you want to get into vlogging can canon 70d or 80d um definitely recommend 10 to 22 millimeter lens just because of how wide it is and then if you want to get a good mic like to hear the audio quality better uh road mic video pro plus and um i mean a really sturdy gorilla pod which is from joby the 5k so um that's a really good vlogging setup and I mean for photos as well if you um, like to take photos you can buy the kid lens from Costco um, it comes with a little package and then I mean if you want to get into like portraits and stuff like that um, 70 to 200 2.8 or 70 to 200 uh, f4 those are really good portrait lenses and just in general like I used to take some of the car pictures um, some of my car pictures with these with this lens so it's really good if you're trying to get portrait style of your car of like the front bumper like half of it or like an, a rear shot or like I don't know detail shots it's really really good and now let's move on to the Sony so as I got more into like just like taking photos of my car and like I don't know just in general I guess like when I seen finding next pictures I was like yo like Tell me what setup, what camera do you have? Like, it's so fire. Like, your pictures are so good. And, like, so he told me um, it's a Sony A7R2 full frame. Um, brand new, I think these were, like, 3,000, I think. Or, yeah, I think, like, 3,000, I think. I don't remember. 3,000 something. Um, I got this one, I think, not more than a year ago, I think. Um, Best Buy had it on sale for 28 
or no, 2400 or 2300. They had it on sale. Um, and that's just the body alone. It doesn't come with any lenses. So it's just a camera alone. It's a really, really good camera, 42 megapixel. The Canon 70D that I have is a 24 megapixel. So the image quality is sharp. So this is my photo, um, like this for photos only. Like I don't really, I don't film at all in this one. This is straight photos. And I also told Nick, what lenses are you using? So um, the only lens he was using at the time was a, uh, let me see if I can stand this for a second, was this one right here, which is a, I forgot what it was, it's a 1.855 millimeter. I don't know if it's gonna focus on that, but yeah, it's a 1.855 millimeter, which is really good for portraits as well, but also for car photos, like if you're trying to get like the full car, um, definitely a really good lens. So um, I got this lens, he recommended it, so I got it and I practiced on it and I, I love it. It's probably one of the best lenses out there. But um, he ended up switching up to something else. He got a 35 millimeter 1.4 and I saw those photos, like the angles of it, it's like on point. So I ended up getting the same lens, which is on this camera right now, because this is my like, I'm, I'm, I've been taking photos with uh, this lens. This has been like the, my main lens, this one I kind of just kicked it off to the side, the first lens that I got. Um, what's good about this lens is that it's still portrait, but it's like wide angle at the same time. Not not too wide, but not too like, um, how do I say it? Like not too portraity. you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but it's a, it's a, it's a really, really nice lens. Um, this one, the first one from Sony, um, the one that Nick recommended me, I think it was like 900, but with tax and everything it was like a thousand, I think. Or like, I think it was, yeah, I think it was like a thousand, but with, and then, you know, you add like the warranty just in case, you know, it's about a thousand plus. Um, this one, these go for 900 as well, with tax and everything is a thousand, but um, Sammy's camera here in the LA area, if you're from LA, um, they had a sale going on where this one was 800 bucks flat, like no tax, everything out the door, 800. But of course, you know, I added warranty and I also bought a polarizer. So everything came out to like 900, I think like 900 something. Um, you know, you always got to make sure you get warranty for all your lenses, especially like, you know, the really expensive ones or like the vlogging one, just in case you drop it, accidental damage, like it's worth it because you never know just when you're going to drop it or anything like that. Um, it hasn't happened to me and I hope it doesn't, but really, really good to get. Um, and then this is just like a regular like aftermarket tripod and Yeah, all the all the these two lenses both have polarizers on them um, I think this one has a polarizer on it as well. I think or I think it was the other one the f4 Yeah, this one doesn't have the polarizer the other lens that I have is has a polarizer on it um, But yeah, this is this is my main photos. I mean my main photos. This is my main camera that I take for photos so all of my car pictures and of other people of like friends and cars that I take it's this uh, camera here with this lens recently. It used to be with this lens um, But I switched over to this lens and it's it's a really like it's a nice lens um, And then for editing I use Lightroom and I don't use it on the computer. I use it on my mobile if you guys have um, Android or iOS um, You can download Lightroom. It's for free, but there's a subscription if you want to like get more into like Editing like certain details of it. You can pay for the Adobe whatever package a month or whatever So I have it on my computer and I have it on my phone. So if I want to like You know like edit on my phone while I'm out I can edit straight off my phone and like it's really it's a really cool app um, and then what else um, Yeah, and then for like YouTube videos and editing and stuff like that I use a uh, Final Cut Pro X which is another program that Nick showed me about um, how to like edit and stuff because I didn't know how to edit at all like any of my videos like I didn't even know how to use the program and he showed me how to edit all the videos and like where to start so Final Cut Pro is a really good program I'm really comfortable with it it's easy to use um, I think he uses Adobe Premiere which looks way more complicated and yeah I'm not trying to like get all technical with it but you know just simple editing just to edit and post um, but yeah that's pretty much all of my stuff and then also I'm vlogging off the G7X which I recently purchased a few months ago. Um, that's a really good camera. The thing is, with this camera, the, the Canon 70D, it's a good camera, like I, I love it, and the lens and everything, but you can't really carry it with you everywhere, you know what I mean? Like I can't just like stuff it in my pocket, like, you know, I gotta like be careful with this camera, cause you know, 
you can't just like set it down anywhere. So, um, and at least with the G7X, what I'm vlogging off right now, it's, you know, it fits in your pocket. You don't have to like really worry about it, you know. Um, but the thing is that it's not so wide. So, but with this lens, it's really, really wide. It captures everything. Like it, I can literally hold the camera like up to here and it's still gonna capture everything around. That's what's so good about this camera. I mean, about this lens. Um, but the G7X doesn't, um, it's not as wide, but it's still a really good camera. Um, I love the autofocus on it. And I love that it's like, it fits in your pocket and you can just carry it anywhere. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram. If you guys have any questions or anything you guys want to like say to me, you guys can write it down in the comments down below. I'm always responding to your guys' comments, always listening to you guys. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.